Okay, this place is a complete mess. Just trying to put things in place a bit, but it's quite impossible almost. What do we have in here? Mm, no. What is it? Something you want to talk about because you seem a bit stressed or worried. Maybe tired, I don't know. <laughs> not saying you look bad, no, of course not. You always look good. It's quite ridiculously impressive, but um something's off, I can tell. This is over here. So, what is it? Are you going to tell me? I'm going to need to bring in the lie detector and question you, or are you going to start talking? Huh? Mm hmm. What is it? Is it about. Mm. Okay, I get it. It's kind of one of those days where we have an amazing, sudden, kind of existential crisis. I think, I think that's pretty much what's happening here, isn't it? Well, it seems only adequate that I am cleaning everything up in this place. And you try to clean everything up in here. Just put everything organized in its place. So let's do it together, right? You want to start by telling me what keeps coming back to your mind because there must be a source to this. Sometimes there isn't, sometimes it's a lot of small things which just come together when we are tired, or we have to make a choice. You know, one step at a time. You don't need to decide everything today. You might go crazy, you have a anxiety attack, trying to do that. You know, I just wanna put these things away to the trash but I keep thinking what if it, they come to be useful to something you know like this plastic bag here I should get rid of it but I don't know it could it could serve me to something like to cover something but you know some things you just need to let go and you know Try to be more selective with the things you keep on your life. Some things uh, we try to hold on, but they are just not anymore of any good impact in our lives. And they just keep piling up and taking space from other things which could be um, useful. What's this over doing here? Some cardboard. This must be some box of something I've ordered. I don't remember what it was. So, are you facing some kind of big decision? Uh, well, we all are, aren't we? Every day. Oh yes, quite normal. I, I've been questioning myself as well. Uh, I've been questioning myself, what am I doing with my life? Honestly, what are we doing with our lives? Is there a higher meaning? Should we be doing something amazing like performing miracles or, you know, discovering a cure to a disease? I'm still waiting for the aliens to arrive and take me to fulfill my destiny. But it seems like they have forgotten about all of us. Can't lose hope though. Cannot lose hope. Don't worry, I'm 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 playing around a bit. But 
I can talk serious, okay? And this is serious. But you need to keep a, a good mood. Uh, otherwise, <laughs> the mind won't think straight. Um, this must be worth something, so I shouldn't get rid of this. You know, if you don't know if you were doing what you should be doing with your life, if you are making the right choice, if you're making the wrong choice, you know, what I really believe is that we live so many different lives. I mean, in this life, we go through so many things. We are not even the same person all through it. We keep changing a bit. And, but also I believe very strongly that every time we make a choice, we make a decision, we are creating a new possibility. We could have made a different choice and that different choice exists in somewhere. Now, how can we say which one is the right, which one is the wrong? To be honest, I think all of them are right. All of them have meaning. All of them have a purpose. And every choice is going to teach us something. And that's what a, we are all really here for, to learn. We don't know almost anything. And how could we? But... I believe you... You need to listen to your, you know, intuition before you make this choice. And then you need to believe that you did the right one. Because otherwise, you know, you're just going to be sabotaging yourself. And as I said, I think every single thing we do has a lot of meaning. We're not here for nothing. Or maybe we are. Or... <laughs> It's just, it's just really crazy sometimes to think about this, but, you know, we are doing our best, I guess. I really wish I could help more, but this is what I can tell you. I've made a few choices in my life, sometimes, well, not sometimes, like every single day almost, I think, is this all? Isn't that supposed to be more? Am I doing something? And the truth is we are always doing things. We keep wanting more or we keep focusing on what we are not doing. We keep focusing on what we don't have. And we get a bit blind, you know. We just get blind because then we stop seeing what we have, what we have done. And, you know, the people that are around us. If we keep looking forward and trying to, you know, have more, we don't appreciate what we have. And, you know, we do have, look at me, look at you, we have way more than a lot of people have. We are lucky already. And we are doing things which affect people in ways, even if, if we don't notice, if we think it's too small, it's not because, for example, I help people to find a sort of peaceful, focus, relaxing moment um, through the things I create. And so I might think, oh, I'm just doing this. It's not affecting the world. It's not. But maybe I'm helping someone to focus, to feel more, you know, inspired. And that person is going to do something which affects another person, which affects another person. And it's a whole reaction because we are not just ourselves. While we are living, we just create all of these ripples which affect everyone. And you're surely doing something. I mean... I like you a lot. Yes, and you see, you you have you have friends. Okay, now you see you doing that again. You're focusing on of course you don't have lots of friends maybe, but you have me. But because you don't have a lot you just 
acting like, oh, I don't have friends, but you do. And I'm one of them. I felt quite offended now that you just forgot about me. Come on. Okay. Just kidding. Just kidding with you. But, you know, that's one of the things you must never forget. Don't forget the things you already have. And it's not bad to wish for more. It's okay to wish for more. You need to wish for more so that you keep moving in life. That's also a problem. <laughs> you can't just be looking back or just, you know, content with what you have. Because then you don't move. You don't grow. And you need to move. You need to keep moving. Keep experiencing. Because then you keep learning. And... The more choices you make, the more places you go and people you meet. As I told you before, you're creating all of these ramifications of possibilities. And you are alive and all of them don't make a mistake. And they are all kind of interconnected, you know. Did you ever feel sad out of nowhere? Or felt happy out of nowhere? You didn't know exactly what it was. But you felt it was coming from someone else like from another place or another person. And sometimes I like to think of that as echoes of myself or people I am connected to. And these things are happening at the same time somewhere else. And then I kind of feel them. So, you know, never lose hope. I remember a quote I love so much. There's something very simple, which is very good to motivate yourself when you think you're not doing enough with your life. You think you're not succeeding. By the end of the day, we are all kind of just animals, a bit more sophisticated, more advanced kind of animals, yes, of course. But we are animals, and by the end of the day, we are all quite successful if we are just surviving. If you survived another day, if you had food, if you slept well, if you did, you know, things which made you laugh and you're still alive and healthy, that's already so much of an achievement. I mean, can you imagine if you didn't survive, there wouldn't be a tomorrow, there wouldn't be anything else you could do. So surviving is already something. And we are here, so we are successful. Everything else is just bonus. It's an extra. And yeah, of course a bonus is nice, but... You know, and so that's important to remember. While there is life, there is hope. There's always something you can do, achieve and be good at, you know. Even small things. Maybe you're good on making a perfect toast with cheese, I don't know, but every single small thing, celebrate that, and you will see that you're always, always doing something, and you are having success, you're not a failure, and you don't worry about these choices, I know you're going to make the right one, just listen, and maybe if you need some new perspective, do something else, and or go somewhere, eat something new, I mean, or just experience something, that will add more to your, you know, just mind power, and you're gonna have a new way of looking things, which is going to help you decide what you really want, or what you don't, so, wait, I have something here, <laughs> and honestly, you need it quite more than I do, so, what is it? Here you go. That's a ticket. Yeah, it's a ticket for a little nice, quiet city. There's an Airbnb I rented there for the weekend. I was going to do this thing, you know, try to clean my mind. But you need it more than I do, and I surely have a lot to just fix around here, so, you know what, take this with you, and 
make some memories, okay? Yes, make some memories. Take a few pictures of the area. It's beautiful. You just need to press here. Yes. And eat there. Yeah, it turns on in here and you press that to take the photo. It's not too much complicated. Who knows, maybe you find a new hobby. Maybe you become a photographer, you know. <laughs> if I haven't gave you the camera, you wouldn't know. But now you can either become a photographer or you cannot, you know. There's way too many more possibilities for you now. See what I'm talking about. Am I, do I sound crazy? I don't think so. Wouldn't mind as well if they call you crazy in this current days. You're probably doing something right. <laughs> so it's a good sign. Um, do be a little crazy, not too much, but just be some, you know, spontaneous and live life by your rules, by your, you know, truths and please just accept it. Don't worry about me. I I do this every two, three months. I'll have time to do it again. You go there. You take the, the place. And it's all paid already. They even have breakfast. The breakfast was good. She can bring some of it to me. It's going to be old. It's not going to taste the same. But, well, just enjoy, okay? And do this for your friend. And for yourself, and for your future, for everything. <laughs> yeah, just go there, give your mind some new perspective, and then do your choice. And I know you will be the right one, because every single one of these lives you could take, it's, you know, the right one. It's valid, and I'm sure that each and every single possibility of who you could be, what you could do, you would be shining because you have a very special way of doing things. You have your way of doing things. And that's, you know, that's one of the secrets of life. Just do things in the way you know, in the way you do them better. doesn't matter if you are a photographer, if you write books, if you are, um, you know, lawyer. Or maybe you sell newspapers, or you sell flowers, or you make art, you know, there's, there's so many things we could do, but it's the unique ways we do them, which defines these things. But that's another topic, yeah. I was about to tell you about the time I used to do some internship, and it was management, yeah, human resources, so crazy, you know. For, yeah, like compared to me now, which I love to do videos and, you know, these more artistic kind of things, more about feelings. So can you imagine me doing well in human resources? I did. I did because I was bringing my way of doing things into that. And... Okay, okay. Oh, another story for another time. Okay, but you know, do things your way. Your way. Sorry about my English, you know I'm not from here, I'm still getting used to it, but, you know, not too bad, not too bad, quite a good English, actually, actually, bleh. it's starting to fail down, so I should probably go grab a coffee and finish all of this mess, before I forget English, and I hope you stay well, okay, yeah, come here, come here, just give me a hug, okay, not too much, not too much of a hug, and, oh, where's this? Hmm. A lamp, a little light. You know, you got to learn how to read the signs as well that life gives you. I think this just tells us that you're going to have a bright idea very soon. You're going to make the right choice, so may your path be guided by light. Yeah, take it with you. I don't need this tiny lamp. It surely came into my hand to give it to you now that you're going on this little trip. 
Who knows, maybe you're gonna need it. Maybe the light from your room on the Airbnb burns out and you need to replace it. I don't know. Just maybe overthinking it now. But surely it means something. Learn how to hear your intuitions, okay? And stay well. Stay well, my friend. Okay, off you go. Um, let me take this back again. Where was it? Over here.